Hi, Section 3A. I will be your TA this semester, and my name's Brooke. This video is just going to give you a little bit of an introduction to Physio 202. Especially now that we're online, it's going to be a little bit different than past semesters. So I'm going to start off with a little bit about me. Um, I am in my second year in the master's program of physiological sciences here at the U of A. And I recently got my bachelor's of science in neuroscience from a small liberal arts college in Michigan. I also had concentrations in integrative physiology and health sciences, as well as chemistry. I was involved in the volleyball team all four years there and different clubs like neuroscience club and active minds. Um, so yeah, really that's some things about me and I hope we have a really great semester. Um, now I'm going to start sharing my screen to get more into uh, some cool, well, some policies for this course. So let's make this semester a great one, okay? Okay guys, now we're getting into the overview of Physio 202. First, um, my contact info. So my name is Brooke Mason, which I already told you, and I have office hours from Wednesday 8 to 9 and Thursday 8 to 9 in the morning. Feel free to come to mine or anybody else's office hours. Here's a nice little list of the virtual TA's office hours. Okay, so some different words that you may hear quite commonly on an online course are synchronous versus asynchronous. So a synchronous course is when the group members meet the same time every week. So we will be meeting over Zoom and we use discussions as a synchronous portion of the lab. You also have participation points through lectures as well. And then the asynchronous is just things you do on your own time. And this can be everything from exams, pre-labs, at-home experiments, and worksheets. Of course, although you're doing these on your own time, um, feel free to email me any questions at all. Okay, so breakdown of the points are we have um, exams. You'll have four exams total to be 64% of your finished grade. You have pre-labs, participation, at-home experience, experiments, discussions, and worksheets. And we're going we're gonna to go through and talk about what each one means. So exams first, this will be on all of the material you are given, um, but they, they don't, exams don't base off each other. Um, so it's non-cumulative. Okay, so each exam is about two thirds of the exam will be lecture material, while one third of the exam is lab material. These will be available on D2L from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I've listed all of your exam dates um, in the table on the right. Okay, quizzes. So these are also found on the D2L quizzes um, tab, and this is their help. To um, sorry, they're there to help prepare you for what you're going to be talking about more in depth. So it's a nice little introduction to the week. These are going to be due for the virtual class on Tuesdays at midnight, before midnight. So make sure you get those finished. All right, at-home experiments. Um, there's going to be one per block, so there's four total. And... These are just different activities. Um, we try to base them off previous activities done in lab, uh, but these are obviously going to be done at home. And they'll be due Thursdays each, well, each of these weeks on the right at midnight. And then discussions, these will be synchronous. So that's using that word. You guys will have to show up every week. And it'll be on Zoom on Wednesdays or Thursdays and whichever time you signed up for. So it won't necessarily be mine, which is fine. Um, and you guys will cover all the clinical applications that are associated with the system that we're covering. All right, worksheets. These will assess the completion and comprehension of lab materials. So it'll just be a bunch of questions on um, just to get you guys familiar with the topics and stuff. And stuff. Um, so these are Thursday at midnight. Discussions are awesome. Well, yeah. Okay.
Okay, and then grace periods. You will have a six hour grace period, but it can only be used if you have an emergency. And this applies to things like quizzes, your uh, home experiments, the, dis the discussions and worksheets. Also, you need to tell me ASAP if you need to use a grace period or else you can't use a grace period. Okay. And I hate to say this every time, but if you get it, if you are caught cheating, you will get a zero for the assignment or the course, and it'll be on your transcripts, be on the office uh, at the Dean of Students. Um, so make sure you do all of your assignments individually. And if you need any help, ask questions in discussion, email me, come to office hours. We're here to help you. We want to help you. Okay, and some tips that I have for success um, use a calendar. So I personally use Google Calendar. I think it's really nice. Um, helps set everything up. I put everything I need to do in there and it keeps everything nice and clear and organized. Okay. Set reminders. I also set reminders if I know I have lecture every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I will set an alarm on my phone just to make sure I don't miss it. Um, creating a workspace. So this could be just a desk that you normally use or some sort of um, seating arrangement where you can sit and get stuff done, get in the mindset to get stuff done. Get enough sleep. So I'm a sleep researcher. Um, I'll probably talk about sleep a lot. So make sure you're getting seven, eight hours of sleep. Um, these, we create learning objectives for you guys. So it's, you guys are able to have things to focus on. Use those learning objectives because um, that's what we want you to know by the end of this course. Okay, participating and asking questions, um, testing yourself on this knowledge, taking a concept where you feel pretty comfortable and um, actually diving deeper with a question that may not be particularly related, but it's um, interesting to you, feel free to ask or look up or something. Okay. Another thing, ask for help. We're here to help you. We like helping you. We want to make sure you get as much as you can out of this course. Okay, and that can be from me, classmates, or the internet. Although, make sure you use good sources if they're if you're asking things from the internet. All right, next week you will have um, there's a Google form I connected on D2L. It's just an introduction about yourself because I want to get to know you guys. Um, complete your syllabus quiz by Friday at midnight, read your lab manual sections, and complete the pre-lab quiz by Tuesday at midnight. All right, I will see you guys soon next week in discussion, and please email me. Let's have a good one.